Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next session on rigid body rotation, next video I should say. And here what I wanted to show you here is how things change visually uh, as the tire or as a rigid body rotates. It usually helps if you have that visualization of what's really going on. So let's say here we want to consider a point on the tire at about a 45 degree angle below the horizontal looking from the negative x-axis right here. And so notice again that we always have the translational motion of the, of the object going to the right, v sub x. And then we have the tangential rotation of the, uh, of the wheel or the tire going this way. And notice you want to drive the, uh, draw the a horizontal vector v sub x that is a result of the translational motion and then you want to draw the tangential velocity that which is due to the rotational motion and then we add those two up vectorially you can see that this will be the result the sum of the velocities uh, pointing in this direction that would be the magnitude right there you can see the por a portion on the tire right there at the very edge of the wheel is going to be moving in this direction at this velocity a little bit further up on the tire, let's see here now we're 45 degrees above the negative x-axis. Notice we still have the same horizontal velocity v sub x as we have over here. That will be the same everywhere along the wheel, inside the wheel, at any point in the wheel. The translational velocity will always be the same as, for example, if this is a tire part of a car and the car is moving at velocity v sub x, every portion of the tire is also moving to the right at that same velocity. But the, on the, along the rim, there, the tire is also experiencing uh, what we call tangential velocity because of the rotation. And notice that this would be the tangential velocity in this direction. It's always tangent to the wheel or tangent to the tire. So if we add this distance together and this distance together, you can see that would be the resulting velocity. Notice that it is a lot greater in magnitude than it was over here. So that magnitude is increasing and increasing as we're going around the tire in the direction of that is also increasing right here. I shouldn't say increasing direction, but it's also, also always changing from being zero here, then there's going to be an upward direction, and then it's going to change slowly like that. I'll try to illustrate that over here. So just take a point on the tire, which is just past that point where the sum of the loss is equal to zero. Again, at the very bottom of the tire, any portion of the tire that hits the road to the bottom at that moment for a split, split instant, it is zero velocity. At the very top, it is moving at twice the velocity as its norm as the car's velocity to the right, v sub x. And then notice how slowly but surely the magnitude of the velocity increases and also the direction of that velocity changes from at first it'll be virt virtually straight up and then it starts moving to the right, moving to the right tilting over more and more and eventually when it gets to the very top the velocity is completely in the same direction v sub x as v sub x as the direction of the car so to speak. Alright so hopefully this gives you a nice little picture of how that velocity changes and then of course when you come this way let's draw what it looks like over here so if we take a point on the tire this way so we have the translational velocity v sub x we have this velocity tangential call that uh, v tangential and then you can see if you then draw the vector sum that would be the vector sum right there and you can see that the direction of the velocity is going to change like this and eventually the direction will be this way and then fix it, then goes around again and starts going in this direction and if you want to see that clearly, let me draw another point down here at a 45 degree angle below the positive x-axis. Again, we have the tangential velocity as well as the velocity in the x-direction. So this is v sub x. This is v tangential. You can see if you draw this out like that and we get the vector sum. This is v sum. Okay, so you can see how the velocity comes down like that. It goes back to zero, switches around, and then comes continues on this side. So it gives you a nice visualization of what the velocity looks like on the rim of a tire.